This is Quick News in Television Nigerian. Ekiti State Governor Kayode Fayemi has tested positive for COVID-19. The governor who confirmed his status on his Twitter handle said this was his third COVID-19 test. While delegating critical tasks to his deputy, Governor Fayemi assured that he will continue routine duties from his home. The Nigerian government said it has concluded plans to carry out COVID-19 tests for 5 million Nigerian farmers across the different regions in the country. This was disclosed by the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Sabun Anunu, on Tuesday while delivering his keynote speech on the theme technological interventions in mitigating the impacts of COVID-19 during a virtual meeting with major players in the sector. The presidency has reacted to the killings in southern Kaduna state, saying that it is more complicated than many people are willing to admit. According to a statement issued on Tuesday, the senior special assistant to the president, media and publicity, Garba Shehu, noted that the problem in southern Kaduna is an evil combination of politically motivated banditry, revenge killings and mutual violence by criminal gangs acting on ethnic and religious grounds. He added that the region enjoys comprehensive security deployment, including the army, special forces of both the army and the air force, surveillance aircraft by the air force, and mobile police units that are on ground on a 24-hour basis to forestall criminality and keep the peace. President Mohamed Buhari has forwarded the 2021-2023 medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper MTEF and FSP to the Senate for consideration and approval. The federal government's 2021 budget would be prepared based on the parameters and fiscal assumptions of the approved 2021-2023 MTEF and FSP. President Buhari's letter seeking the upper chamber's approval for the fiscal document was read on Tuesday by Senate President Ahmad Lawan during plenary. The president said the early submission was to allow the legislature enough time to perform its constitutional duty of reviewing the framework and sought to Senate's expeditious legislative action on the document. That was Quick News in Television Nigerian. Join us at 4 o'clock for World News. I am Susan Achin. Thanks for watching.